You're watching the Hometown High School Football Game of the Week on WRCX Television. Brought to you by our local All-State agent, Jim Twiggs. Tonight's game is also being brought to you by the Greater Ohio Eye Surgeons, Muffler Brothers of Springfield, Urbana, and Fairborn, and the IH Credit Union. Now for the throw for dough, brought to you by Security National Bank, the local TV for each sports network at both of the schools in tonight's game have chosen a cheerleader to try to throw a football through the special throw for dough banner. Just for participating, each school's athletic department will receive $50 from Security National Bank. And if the cheerleaders throw it through successfully through the banner, they are going to win a donation for the athletic department of five hundred dollars let's get it going our first contestant from ben logan is senior hannah logsdon hannah good luck to you look out oh nice throw now representing your kenton ridge cougars bailey bennett tried to get in again but we said no sit down lady it is Marcy Wills. Marcy, good luck. Macy, thank you so much. Just not enough oomph on that. Thanks for participating. And if you want more information on our Throw for Dough, best thing you can do is log on to www.localtvforme.com. Thank you so much. Although the world is ever-changing, the basic rhythms of life remain the same. One being people's passion to build. Families, communities, houses, businesses. But turning passion into reality is often challenging. For all of life's moments, count on Security National Bank. Jim Twiggs, your All-State agent with the Hometown High School Football Game of the Week. Our third quarter just about ready to get underway with the opening kickoff of the third quarter as Kenton Ridge, you can see it on the screen, leading 34-6. to six. And the way this works, if they get another touchdown, then it's a running clock because if you're ahead by 30 points, that's just the way they do it in high school football. Uh, both ball clubs around their coaches. Kenton Ridge is out on the field getting ready to go. Yeah. Um, I'm done for the night. I want to watch this moon up there. Is yeah, it's it just beautiful? beautiful. Yeah, beautiful moon. And, uh, you know, that's like we said, it was going to be 2040. 2040. 2040, yeah. 2040, it yeah. would happen again. And that would be on the 13th, Friday the 13th. Okay. So kind of Friday the 13th for uh, Ben Logan right now as they're down 34-6 uh, to six to Kenton Ridge. And the Cougars really shown me uh, some real balanced attack, probably yeah. – one of the better teams other than the team I saw last year when they played and beat Shawnee here at, uh, for homecoming. But uh, this team here came to play tonight for uh, Coach Joel Morata, and everybody seems to be on the same page with that big E word we always hear, and it gets overused, but it's execute. execute. Do your job and stay in your position. And a couple of the players you know, didn't do their job. I, I know Drew Miller was off on an angle on a pursuit for one uh, tackle, and then what's he do? He scores a touchdown, he and he gets touchdown. an interception. Yep. So he realized and learned from that he had the bad angle, and he uh, he took the right angle that last time, right before halftime, and that was an INT. Now Ben Logan's got to got to make some hay right now. Uh, they get the opening kickoff in this third quarter. They need to score a touchdown. Just to look get at this. That's an onside kick. It's still rolling around. Nobody's got it, and boy. That Finally play. fallen on by Ben Logan. Yeah, that was a real small, smart play by Ben Logan because if, if he does, he gets a nice pat on the head. I like to see that sportsmanship. And trying to jump on that ball was Robbie Smith. Wow. And watch this. Right on top of him is Seth Anderson. And uh, they, you know, I like the sportsmanship. They patted each other on the helmet and said, hey, good job. That was that was close. So Ben Logan has a you know running back back there that we've talked about all, all game long, Stoner. And he's still back there. And then they got Peterson, the big wide receiver. He's matched up on a smaller wide receiver cornerback down here, Drew Davis. And Drew is a, quite a bit different uh, size. And it's going back to Stoner, Lee. Stoner with the football. He just will not go. Look at it. We're gang tackling 
by Kenton Ridge, but uh, this kid can drag a lot of people. He gets it out to the 40-yard line. So that's a pickup on the play of a good four, maybe five yards. So it's going to be second down and about five yards to go for the first down. This guy just moves piles. Yeah, and there's not much they're going to do differently tonight uh, other than maybe uh, try to get this ball out here to Peterson every now and then because that's a big mismatch down mm -hmm. here at the bottom of the screen. But when you have Stoner running the ball the way he is now, you just keep handing it to him. There it goes, a pitch out. Pitch out. Trying to go, boy, they got him this time. There's a tackle. That was a big hit on the far side of the field. Coming up on that for Kenton Ridge is going to be Michael Sloan. Wow. And that's how you tackle. That's how you hit him low. And in the first half, uh, Drew Miller hit him really low for a real hard hit. Yeah. And I think everybody said, you know what, you're, you're right. you got to hit him low. But I want to see him actually get the ball out here uh, in the flat to Blake Peterson. And guy in the slot. Watch the guy in the slot. Here he is. And oh, overthrow him. Football. Overthrow him. He was open. And if we get to see this on replay, you'll see what I mean. Here's the replay, Lee. You got the cornerback back here, yeah. and the man on the slot is not covered at all. You got man to man, and now we have a, a linebacker coming over to cover him. And look at what happens underneath. Wide open. He hits him in. He's got a pretty good move because he goes, has a blocker in front of him, and that blocker is Peterson. Yeah. Yeah. This is the big guy down there. So, you know, if you were Ben Logan, I'd say I'd look at that again. If you're Kenton Ridge, I'd say, hey, you got to get you know man on man there. Fourth down, Gary. Fourth yep. down and uh, man, about six yards, seven yards to go. Nice snap. Here's the kick. End over end type. And uh, getting Miller. away this time <laughs> is Miller. Yeah, he's smart yeah, to I'm do I'm not going to try this again. Uh, so they're going to mark the got a good roll. Out. Look yeah. at that roll there. Got an excellent roll. Right down to the 10-yard line? 10-yard line. As it was uh, knocked down right there by uh, Ben Logan. So uh, 11 90 yard yards line. away. Yeah, oh, they 11 put it on the 11? Okay. 12-yard line. So it's going to be uh, first down. And uh, 10 yards to go. And they've got, uh, what, 88 yards to go? Did you see how I figured that out real quick? That's so quick. Just, that's, you know, that's I mean, that's your age, thing. too, to remember how to do yeah, that. Yeah, I just, huh? <laughs> <laughs> at my age, look at that. As we are just underway here in uh, the third quarter, Lehman's still in the quarterback. Going to hand it off. Running room over that left side a little bit. That's As, Weichel. Yeah, Weichel gets it out yep. to the 15. So that's going to be uh, about a three-yard pickup. So it's going to bring up second down and seven for the first down with yeah. uh, 10.25 remaining. Yeah, Weichel's took, taking some uh, good runs, had a touchdown, and uh, he's taking some pretty good hits tonight because that's a – if you look at that line, that's a real big line, and I really wish we could it share the, the weight of the line, but uh, they didn't post it on the uh, CBC website, the, one of the few teams that have no height or no weight. But uh, that's a pretty big line there that uh, Weichel's running into. Yeah, man, in motion. Who's that? That's Miller. As he comes over to the bottom of your screen. Now we got another man in motion. Because Dybert on top. Yep. Yeah. And now the step. Now look for Dybert over the middle. And uh, Miller was open. He goes stop and go on this far sideline. But uh, when you're being chased by 19 people, it looked like he uh, finally, Lehman, went down at the original line of scrimmage right around the 12-yard line. Yeah, and they got the coverage they wanted uh, with uh, Dybert because covering him was uh, number 33 for uh, Ben Logan, and uh, 33 Whitlock, Whitrock, and uh, that's the matchup he wanted to have because uh, Dybert has that height, height advantage and mm. just couldn't get rid of the ball there as the quarterback goes down. I'm still the, the guy that likes to go over the middle of the football. Well, there are not many people that like to do that. We had that at Graham player uh, years ago with Miles Tremp. Yeah. And uh, Miles Tremp would be one of the few players in the CBC that would ever go over the middle. I used to go over the middle. Yeah, but you were a running back. You went up the middle. <laughs> you went up the middle, off tackle, left tackle. Off tackle, left, off tackle, right. Now, here we go. Oh, Lehman looking, and it's going nice to be, yeah, be tipped. Beautiful play by uh, by Ben Logan in there, and that's going to shut down that. And they probably talked about that. Now, watch the... Watch the hands go up. This is what Kenton Ridge should probably look at, too. And this is what you do when you're a lineman, right. defensive lineman. Now watch the hand go up. Right, He's looking at him, and then he's going to get it right there. Oh. Well, he just uh, he just went around his blocker. That's what he did. He just did a flat-out, circled around, and made a nice block and tip yeah. with that ball. Taggart Beatty was the one who came across and uh, from his outside uh, cornerback position. Okay, quick question, Mr. Math. How many punts is this for Kenton Ridge? One. Am I right? First time. They've yes. punted tonight. And standing in the end zone, nice snap. 
Here comes the rush. Oh, that's a good get a good a bounce. Good, it's going to yeah. be a nice punt. And oh, look at that the roll. The receiver will stay away from it. <laughs> that's a beautiful punt. goes out to the 36-yard line. Gorgeous roll. And uh, Whitrock says, no, nah, I'm not going to touch it. Don't forget, we want you on WRCX-TV. Do you have it? WRCX television in your cable lineup. Call your provider. Tell them. It's local. And we want it. And there are the numbers right there of Dish and Direct TV. Copy them down and uh, just call them and say, hey, why don't you do this? WRCX Television. Get it right now. And you can. Just talk to the people and tell them, hey, look, the whole thing is local. All right. It's, uh, this, this amazes me. The offense comes up. They've been over to the sideline talking. And now they look back over to the sidelines. Uh, play clock is uh, down to 22 seconds. So plant a low snap from center. And he saves it just for his dear life, comes to this near yeah. side, and is going to be tackled out of bounds. Not a late hit out of bounds, but no, tackled right no, on the no, no, line. No. They were all hitting him right as he got to the right line. Right back to the uh, line of scrimmage there, so that's really no gain. And he did what he had to do, and instead of just downing the ball, he made the most out of it, and which is just get it back to the line of scrimmage. That's about the third or fourth time that the ball has uh, kind of rolled back to him. At the one time it did, and he passed it well, and picked up nice yardage. As you recall, we were here before with the Kenton Ridge team where they could not snap the ball. Well, that's and right. it, was a, it was like a bowling ball uh, <laughs> game that we saw. And that's been cleaned up. Yes, a lot. Looking over at the sideline, getting that uh, getting the signal. We're in the third quarter of action. Another low snap, though. There goes the big yeah. guy, Stoner. And they're getting him pretty low now. And they're, well, the whole team is coming in there. And one of the guys we haven't talked about is uh, Noah Hill coming in there. Noah Hill's uh, shooting in there. You know what happens, though, on those low snaps and they, and they roll back? That throws your timing off uh, because the linemen are already throwing their blocks and they've got to hold it. You can't hold it real long. So uh, they need to clean that up, get the center to get it back to them, make it a crisp nap, and to start into the play. Yeah, they got those trips up at the top. They need somebody else on man-to-man up there. Look at that, Lee. The only one, but only one back deep is Drew Miller. Wow. He's supposed yeah, to be on do. the man on the slot. Now they're back to man-to-man. They're doing a quick pass out of the outside there. Here comes. Oh, nice down the middle. Oh, and is it intercepted? Was it picked? Nope, they're going to say it hit the ground. Real nice try. And uh, it was in the right place just where he wants to be. Lane, Lane Roberts. Lane Roberts, yep. Nice job. Good shot of the sideline here with Dibert and the coaches. Now watch this as he comes across. He's staying, in, staying at home right there in the middle. Cuts across, tries to make the interception, and just doesn't quite get there. But look at that being demand coverage. Good coverage by uh, Kent Ridge. Well, Joel Abbott's uh, slipped. I was one thing worried about me is those guys yeah. in the slot, if they do a quick out pass like we've seen in tournament play years ago, Oh yeah. that's where they're going to move the ball down the field. But uh, they're, they're trying to go down the field because they need to, if you look at the score, 34-6. Okay, here comes the punt to uh, Miller. What is a nice punt. He has a fair Calling catch. for a fair catch is Drew He must Miller. have heard me last time, huh? <laughs> <laughs> the 28-yard line. Son, you can raise your hand every now and then. Come on. I, okay, I don't want to get hit. So it's going to be at the 28-yard uh, line. Going to be first down and uh, 10 yards to go for uh, Kenton Ridge. And Kenton Ridge started to drive. Uh, and we'll see. As we have got about seven minutes and 40 seconds remaining in this uh, third quarter. And now they're, all right, is uh, the offense just about ready to uh, to get ready. And again, we talked about it uh, coming in, and it's no really no surprise that uh, Kenton Ridge has scored this much because 77 points in two ball games. 10 seconds scored. on that clock, the play, on the play clock. clock. Now, man in motion. They give it to him. Coming to this Weichel. near side as uh, Weichel. Weichel. Boy, Weichel broke about two tackles. Oh, no, no, there. Take, Real nice. <laughs> take that back. That's not Weichel. That's Jones, Carson Jones. Was that Carson Jones? That was a 31. I thought it was okay. a 21 as well, Lee. So it was a 31 that time. And he hasn't had too many carries tonight. That was a good watch one right him, there. Watch him coming around the outside. Nice straight arm. And he's going to come right there. back there. Broke a tackle. He got another six yards there. Yes. And look, it takes about two or three uh, Ben Logan uh, – Tackers to get him out of bounds. It's a first down. First and ten. Clock rolls with uh, seven and a half minutes. Stop right now because of the out of bounds. Heading in motion, getting the football. Back over Heading again. The same, the left side. The same carrier yeah. right there. Jones just Carson uh, Jones. Carson Jones. And there are some nice and blocks. And he's, he's got to be fresh, Lee. <laughs> yeah. Because Weichel's been getting the ball quite a bit and getting up off the ground there for Ben Logan is 
is uh, Billy Hall. Did a pretty good job all night long. He was in on that block play. Well, Carson Jones pass. actually is the second leading rusher. Right. Uh, well, exactly. And, and we just haven't seen him the whole first half. Yeah. Yeah. I think we saw only on defense he had a, a, he had a, a real nice play defense, then. Yes. Okay, ball just uh, shy of the 50-yard line. It's going to bring up second down at about four. And keeping the football this time is uh, Lehman. And Lehman just First keeps down. going, gets it inside the 45 to about the 44-yard line. And, again, that, that was a nice fake by him yeah, because people just looked, and they uh, and they were all on uh, 31, Carson Jones. And here comes Lehman up the middle. Looking over to the near sideline. We are here at, uh, at Kenton Ridge and uh, 6.45 remaining here in this third quarter of action. As Kenton Ridge. They see, they, look, they all look to the sidelines and they go into a huddle. <laughs> and the play clock's down to nine. This, I think they're getting it off consistently about three or four seconds. Yeah, there was a couple times, one second. Well, wide open, Dybert Lehman in the middle. Looking, Dybert wide open and nice catch. That had just enough of a rainbow on it, and he caught up with it. That's Dybert's second. Now watch him yeah. plant his feet. Look at that line. Now let's give the line credit. Zach Forshee's in there. Plenty of time for Lehman to unleash this ball. And look at uh, Dybert goes look up. Didn't cut. have to look jump up cut, too yeah. much. Underthrown just enough, and Dybert goes in for his second touchdown tonight. And that's just about the same uh, depth that he went last time for a touchdown. 65 yards. So uh, setting the football up will be uh, Lehman. 44 yards on that play. Yes, yes. Nice snap. There's kick the up. kick, and it looks like it split the uprights, and indeed it did. Well, and the kicker was run into on that play there. Now there's the uh, the crowd over there on the other side, and you look at the Raiders, and, uh, you know, they're having fun. You know, they're not the Raiders, the student section of, uh, of the Kenton Ridge Cougars <laughs> as they're getting the camera on there. I, a little far shot to go clear on the other side, but the uh, Kenton Ridge student body having a great time. They're going, hey, this is a running clock, and, you know, I yes. told you, Mom, I told you, Dad, I'd be home before midnight. <laughs> <laughs> Except before we saw her. All right, where'd the boom go? It's, it's the in your house right now. <laughs> it went to your house. It said, well, Lee's going to be, I'm going to beat Lee home. <laughs> Darn. Uh, Must be nice having a chauffeur to get to these things here. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. I like that. Yeah. Uh, I just kind of went. Do you to text people in, in the back seat yeah, on your way as home? Yeah, in the back seat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, we'll probably stop get something to eat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Forty to six. Yeah, there's the running clock. There's the running clock. Yeah. Well, clock hasn't started yet when the uh, kickoff. Six twenty-two remaining. Yeah, it is when the kickoff will start. That clock will go. Forty-one to six in yep. favor of Kenton Ridge. They have had just a, they got a the kind score. of night where everything goes right. They had forty up there, and they got that one point. Yep. Uh. Line drive kick. Let's we'll see if that one goes out of bounds. Oh yes. Oh, it does. That's very close to. Done. <laughs> it came real close to touching that football, and uh, that was a no-no. As a Woodrock uh, finally got away from it, and it'll come out to the what the thirty-five yard line, where it's going to be first down and ten yards to go for uh, the Ben Logan Raiders. I'd like to see Ben Logan put up one more drive, at least one more. Well, you know, compared to so last, last week, they had some, you know, they had their, their struggles, and, uh, you know, now they have a, a running back, and I think, uh, you know, th this kid's really done a, a, a all I can do right now for, yeah. for, for for Ben Logan, and we're talking about Stoner. And this now, could be marched back on this penalty. Now, if, and you got to think, if Perkins was in the ball game, would there be anything different? Well, I think they'd be going to Peterson a whole lot more. Well, that's yes, because he has that accuracy going across there. But uh, again, you know, we talked about it, uh, you know, in the pregame of how many yards you know each player has. So there we go, and the clock is running. Oh, nice hole for Stoner. Stoner. Yeah, and, and Gary had mentioned that it is a running clock right now, and. Uh, only time you're going to get to stop is Zach Forshee in on that 62. Boy, limping out uh, yep. uh, of the Lynn. ball game for Massey. Yeah, you got uh, coming into the ball game right now is uh, is is number uh, 69, uh, Mason Perkins, and uh, his daddy's up here in the press box helping out. 
I wonder when they're going to take some of the offensive players out of there just to make well, sure. Well, we always say that, Lee. We say that every game, and I they know. never do. And they and never they do. I, I don't know why. They're, look at that hole. <laughs> oh, look at Stone. And what did he get hit by? He got hit by Lane Roberts, who is a 5'10", 170-pounder, and he made a nice talk, really nice tackle. Well, he sure did. He hit him hard. Yep. And we see coming into the ball game for uh, Kenton Ridge will be Rory Basel, or Baswell. And coming limping just a little bit coming out of the ball game is Forche. Forshe? Forshe. Yeah, 62. And so it'll be, uh, what do we got here now? 4.53 left to go. Second down and six. Oh, look at that rush. Nice pass and a Caught. nice catch. And that should be enough for the first down. No, no, th- no, no. It's going to be short, short of the marker there. Oh, that's right. They were just, yeah. But I was surprised there wasn't there wasn't a, a penalty there because uh, the Kenton Ridge player hit him early. So the ball is at the about the 49-yard line where it's going to bring up second down. Second down at about seven. Ben Logan handed off to Stoner. Stoner with the, yeah, he's got very little running run. See, right, they're, they're I mean, doing what we positive. talked about. They're doing the t- – and look at who's in there again. And I don't know how many tackles he has. Seth Anderson is in on that tackle. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and coming across there as well, um, we got Mason Perkins in on that. Uh, a, lot, a lot of people just going to the ball like they should and hitting low, you know. So the, all these guys on the sideline, the coaches are pretty happy. Divert's pretty happy. Uh, He's standing right happy. next yes. to Drew Miller. Drew has a touchdown. Drew has an interception. And uh, two great guys, and really nice to have the privilege of teaching them and getting to know them as, as youngsters growing up and seeing them turn into great football players. One nice thing is you didn't teach them math. Here's a good Intercept- almost intercepted. Almost. And, oh, 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 <laughs> stepping right in front for uh, Kent Ridge oh, was uh, Josh. Josh Skeens. Josh Skeens, and all, he almost had one there. Yeah, I think they left early on that play. If you watch this replay, now watch Skeens break on the ball. It's going clear on the outside here. Now watch him break on this ball. And there is, yes. He just got in front of the big wide receiver there, and really nice play. And we got uh, more Maybe. players coming in there for uh, Kenton Ridge that we haven't seen. And that's, uh, that's I think, a good move. I mean, right now you've got that 41-6 uh, to 6 lead. You've got a running clock right now. Snap back. And Not that much of a This could be a pretty good punt. And that's going to go out of bounds, just about the 22, huh? Yeah, yeah, about 22, 23 yard line, where it's going to be Kenton Ridge first and 10, and uh, the clock continues to roll with 2:36 remaining here in this uh, third quarter of action. Let's see who's coming in at quarterback for Kenton Ridge. Well, Lehman's yeah, Lehman's, still in they're, there. they're going to keep him out there, and uh, you know, one of the things you will probably want to do is work on some things and and keep that you know consistency going. You don't want to break up the the bands well, when you're doing so yeah, well. Yeah, because uh, you like to, to see that continuity on uh, mm-hmm. just about every, especially the offense. And they have got it working right now, that's for sure. As the uh, play clock at uh, 25 and now rolling, so plenty of time. And t- Michael tries to tries to take it outside, but just a very, very good tackle by uh, Ben Logan. Yeah, and just, you know, a real good job by the big guy there coming across there is uh, James Buffington. Mm-hmm. And and he just did a – just hammed, hammered him, you know. Boy, he sure did. So second down – actually, loss of about a yard. Second down at about 11 to go for the first down. Clock continues to roll. We are down to the two-minute mark here and in this third quarter. Diaper to top, covered by Peterson. Ball snap. Lehman looking. Got his receiver, Miller, out here oh, at the nice. 25. Uh-huh. Nice cut. Broke away again, and now one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Just a whole bunch. <laughs> yeah, it looked like, looked like they were trying to build a pyramid there. Boy, sure yeah. did. Watch this, folks. He cuts back, makes two, uh, one tackle miss, comes back, the guy gets him again, and he keeps making a miss. And then and there's one, two, three, forward. four, five, six, <laughs> yeah. six players, and who's shoving there is Hill. Hill's trying to shove his buddy forward. And he still held on to the football. And, and it's a first down. And so the ball is out to the uh, 35-yard line. First down, 10. And the clock rolls. We are down to a minute and 16 seconds remaining 
in this third quarter. And they're talking about it in the backfield about what that play is or where we're going with this ball. Diver to the slot this time, man in motion. Man in motion gets the ball. Takes off down that uh, far. I thought that he was going to make it to the far sideline. That's Carson where he Jones, needed to yeah. go. Carson Jones. Yeah, Jones picks up some yardage, though, and it's all positive for this uh, offense. Uh, we got a lot of people heading into the ball game. Jared Leffler. Uh, Leffel. Leffel. Is, uh, well, you got to remember, it's is senior night, so he's trying to get as many of his seniors in here in this last uh, you know, last few minutes of this quarter. And we was, got a whole other it, quarter to go here. Thirty-eight seconds left in rolling. Was he the one that did that to Joe Morata when it was a, it was a senior night? He let the senior start, or, or am I thinking of basketball? I can't remember. Yeah. Man, come and, uh, you know they tried to all all coach. Oh, watch this guy on the backside. Yeah, Lehman. Got Miller Look, uh, open. Is he going to get the catch? He's Miller's gone. And Miller's a nice gone. block. Look at that. And look Divert at look stepped. Who, look at, Divert goes over to him and says, oh, hey. He stepped, he stepped right in front of a defender. Now watch this. Yeah. And this pass is perfectly thrown over the defender. And look at the focus that Miller has on that ball. Catches Divert, that ball. Divert. Looks back and says, no, Divert gets in front. No blocking back. Yes. Touchdown. They're going, hey, we're two for two now. <laughs> But you know what Drew Miller says? I had an interception. You didn't. <laughs> you didn't, so you better get on the ball. Yeah. Uh, uh, what points. a great play. And uh, Drew Miller uh, Drew Miller is a senior as well. And uh, Dybert, you know, it's so fun on the senior night to see both of these great guys go out with uh, playing a really good game and proud of them. Gibson uh, tries for the extra point, and uh, it looks good, and it is good. So uh, there is uh, a 48 points on the scoreboard with a minute and 31 and there's more lightning out uh, above the uh, above the clock. No, let's not say Nobody that. said that. No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nobody say that. Let's not say that. It was a flash from a camera. Oh, that's right. There's See? a yes. And there, there there's a big wave there. That's where we are. Wait, are we are we here? I'm, yeah, I'm sitting yeah, down. Yeah. Of course you're sitting down. <laughs> Gosh. What would you be doing else otherwise? Oh, my legs are so anyway. bad. I need to get Yeah. 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 Oh, my goodness gracious. All right. <laughs> of course, we are running with a uh, uh, running clock. And uh, not right now. It stopped after the touchdown of the score. Uh, but 48 points on the board for Kenton Ridge. I kind of expected this. I expect a little closer game because it's really hard to tell what, what team's going to show up for Kenton Ridge. But if this team stays together showing up this way, they're going to go a long ways. Yeah, if they show up every week like this. This way, yeah. yeah. And, and, and the, the, they just can't go flat. Now, maybe this will be a kickstart for them to say, this is what we can do, guys. And will do, yeah. And you got to you know, remember that they're without our quarterback, too, the Ben Logan. So it could be a lot closer than might have been. Or and we don't know. We, you never yeah. know, you know. Yeah. But it shows you how important one player is to a team. Yes, extremely, and especially in uh, high school and uh, college play. Getting the ball all the way back to the five-yard line. Boy, coming onto this near sideline, doing a real nice job. Uh, picking up positive yardage is uh, Whitrock. And so he'll bring it out to about the 29 uh, or 30 yard line. Let's see where they mark a 29 yard line. It'll be first and 10 for Ben Logan. And don't forget, coming up, our Good Hands Player of the Game Award uh, brought to you by Jim Twiggs, Allstate. You are in good hands, of course, Jim Twiggs, with uh, Deer, uh, Deer Road in uh, Deer Road, I should say, in Springfield, and uh, 2781 Orchard Run in West Carrollton. We will be awarding that at the end of the ball game. Good hands player of the game award winner. Well, we got one more quarter run left to go and probably step aside for a bit. And we are going to take uh, a quick break. And that is indeed the end of the third quarter. Well, that went quick. We'll be back with the fourth quarter right after this. You're watching the Hometown High School Football Game of the Week on WRCX Television. Brought to you by our local Allstate agent, Jim Twiggs. Tonight's game is also being brought to you by Dave Kale Chevrolet, The Security National Bank, and Harding Road Pharmacy. A lot has changed in 80 years, but at the IH Credit Union, some things will never change. The IH Credit Union will always be member-owned and will always do what's right for our community. Stop in today at the IH Credit Union. It's time to eat, and you want great Mexican food with friendly service at a fair price. It's time for... My Mariachis!
with three convenient locations. You're never far away from a great meal at My Mariachi. Don't accept imitations. It's time for When your ride is overheated, choking, spinning, sputtering, stopped, or just too slow, trust the pros at Muffler Brothers. With locations in Fairborn, Urbana, and Springfield, you're right around the corner from repair service. You can count on Get your car the attention it deserves. See the real pros in town. Muffler Brothers. We are back. Fourth quarter action between Kenton Ridge and Ben Logan coming up on the Allstate Hometown High School Football Game of the Week on Local TV for a Sports Network. As we had mentioned, that uh, Player of the Game Award winner, who do you think it might have been? Ben Logan, first and ten. Well, I got a toss up, but I, I, you know, I got got some ideas here because okay. it, it's okay. uh, it's been a good game for a lot of players. A lot of players, <laughs> and that's why. Sure Stoner, Stoner with the football. He finds some running room. I mean, there's no way he can't find running room Stoner with his size. You know, and uh, I think Stoner runs a lot straight up and down. Right. Uh, maybe he got down a little bit. Well, I don't think. Yeah, yeah, I don't think he can get down any lower because he's such a big guy. You know, he I mean, is, that's, yeah. uh, that's uh, you know, he, he does what he does and kind of goes off that right tackle, left tackle, and he does a pretty good job of following his blockers. But if you know, you're talking about player of the game. If you're looking at uh, Ben Logan, if they're ahead and they're winning the game, Stoner's hands down hands for, down, for yeah. them, the, yeah. the player of the game. And then you've got too many weapons on Kent Ridge to choose from. It's but just you have a, tonight, yeah. You know, and then they're all seniors, so what do you do? Second down, uh, two yards to go Stoner with the football. Right, first down and got it rather handily. And there's, <laughs> there's one Kent Ridge player standing there just kind of watching everybody else, and that being Staley. And everybody else was in on yeah, the tackle. Yeah, Cyrus Straley says, I think you guys got this. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take this off a little bit. Lane Roberts, one of the smallest guys on the t uh, field, <laughs> up on the <laughs> field making the tackle. Lane Roberts is uh, 170, and uh, Straley's 225. 225. He says, you got this, yes. Lane. <laughs> and here comes Stoner. Yeah, he's looking for outside. Oh, look at that tackle. Shooting in there on the backside is... Guess what? Straley. Straley. <laughs> <laughs> he said, you had the other la I felt bad, Lane. I'm going to do said, this Lane, with myself. Lane, I got about 100 pounds on you, so I'll, I'll take the next one. No gain. It's going to bring up second down and uh, 10 yards to go for uh, the first down. 48-6 to six in favor of uh, Kenton Ridge. 10 the minutes left to go. Yep. To roll. Yeah. Got that running clock with 10 minutes to go here in this fourth quarter. Set up in the uh, I formation. Gonna, uh, Stoner on the outside. Stoner. Stoner. Oh, there's a block yeah. in the back. Should have been a penalty. Nice run by Stoner, though. Well, I'm going to show you something on the replay. If it comes back here, the player for Kenton Ridge is blocked in the back. That's uh, Brendan Conley. Now watch on this replay. He gets blocked right here in the back. Now watch him come across right in the middle of your screen. He's being held. Now watch what well, he, he does. Held. He gets up and comes across, and what's he do? He makes the tackle. Well, that's so that's a great up. play. 43 Shooting through there, Brendan Conley was down on the ground and did a great job. Hit by two Ben Logan players. Yep. And uh, they got away with a hold. And a hold, a and then he got a tackle. But the, at this point in the game, I think they're kind of letting them play it out. Nice pass on nice the outside. Out Missed tackle the flag, there. Yeah. And, and coming up uh, with it, the football. And then coming in there with the tackle, scooting across there is going to be Ethan Yeller. Abbott, Abbott's played a pretty good ball game, too, for uh, for Ben Logan. Coming up with uh, the football. And it's going to be at the 49-yard line. So it's going to be fourth down, but it's going to be fourth down and about a yard to go for the first down. Maybe a yard and a half as we are down to 8.52 remaining here in this uh, fourth quarter in this football game at uh, Kenton Ridge Senior Night tonight out here at Kenton Ridge High School. Low snap again. Stoner gets it. Will he get the first down? Oh, Boy, was he hit. I don't know. Let's see where they mark it. The official here has it right at about the 50-yard line. Lane Roberts again shooting in there. Roberts was on there first, and then uh, just Cordell was in on top of it too, so both of them. But Lane Roberts playing a, not very big, folks, and he's just playing his heart out tonight because he's hitting somebody probably twice his size. Here's a good look at the cheerleaders tonight. We had uh, – 
Macy was out there trying to throw for the throw for dough. And, uh, you know, I think the cheerleaders have three or four seniors that are graduating. Well, and I thought senior uh, night. I thought Stoner uh, out here had the first down, but then he was shoved back rudely. Uh, he had to get across the 15. Well, Lane, just at the 15. Lane made the first contact, and then Cordell, and look at this run here. Ooh, that was right in the face oh, mask. Oh, oh, oh. That's a face mask or a horse collar. Look at him. Uh, Ooh, boy. Yeah, he came straight. He came flying straight back, Carson Jones. And let's see. Is, there is no flag. No flag. I want to see where they get him, if they grab him by the shoulder or the. Well, I don't know. He yeah, was yeah. he was he was going one direction, and yeah. all of a sudden, bam. well, at least it wasn't a face mask, and it looked, you know that's the, that's even worse than a horse collar, face mask. Your head's going back. Yeah, I know that's whiffle ash. Uh, Seven forty-eight. That's what we got left in this ball game, and it's been all Kenton Ridge keeper. Yeah, Lehman's going to decide to keep the football, and what a nice tackle! Just coming across is a tagger to Beatty for Ben Logan, and stopped him right in his tracks. So it's going to bring up a third down. Third down and about five yards to go for the first down. They've got to get it down just just on the other side of the 40. As they are looking to the sidelines, waiting for the play, Miller will go out to the far side of the field. And don't forget, next week we've got uh, another ball game. Head out to Northwestern. Northwestern High School. That's a nice facility. Yes, yeah, Shawnee's going to be out there. And Shawnee had a big win a while back, a uh, game before last against Tippecanoe. Nice oh, tackle. Nice tackle. That's textbook and right there, folks. Guess who got that again? Number 24. <laughs> yeah. And that being uh, Beatty. Yeah, Beatty comes shooting through there making that nice tackle. He did one just a second ago before, and he's got to be proud. And a lot of the, you know, the Ben Logan players, there are a lot of the players that have played a really good game tonight. You know, they just came up against a pretty good buzzsaw tonight. You just have to say that this is a pretty good team, the way they're playing tonight. Well, I think you said it earlier, uh, Gary, the the offense for Kenton Ridge uh, was was very diversified. Uh, and there's the head coach right there, Joel yeah, Morata. Look, at they're not going for it. It's fourth and ten. They're just going to go ahead and see what they can do with this. Yeah, and he's going to do a quick punt. Yep. No, don't want any return. Yeah, get some distance Look at on that, that ball yeah. roll. As it goes. Uh, ten yard line. Ten yard line. That's a nice play. Yeah, that's a very nice play. See, they've just executed just about on everything tonight. Don't forget our All-State Good Hands Player of the Game Award winner. Brought to you and presented each week by Jim Twiggs. Good Hands Player of the Game. Jim Twiggs with uh, locations in Springfield and West Carrollton. I'll tell you what, this is a little little different than kind of a game than I expected. Or we expect a little closer game. A little, a little closer ball game. Yeah. A little closer. Uh, but it is what it is, and it's going to be Ben Logan's football as the clock, uh, well, with the out of bounds, it did stop, 6.07. Yeah, they got to stop it on right that, in. and then they'll, they'll crank it up. And there's a look at uh, some of the fans here in the – the stands there from what the, do they call it? Ohio State. Alyssa uh, Berger, the best damn band uh, in the land. Alyssa yeah. Berger, uh, band director there. Well, they are good. They are uh, good. Templeton helping out there, so do a good job there. Real good uh, band. I saw a great band last night. Stebbins a great band. A lot of good bands around this area. Oh, there are. Finally. And look at this rush. Nice pass. That's dangerous pass outside there. That's very you. dangerous pass. Somebody could have cut in front. And uh, he's kind of feeling it. And we're talking about the intended receiver, Joel Abbott. He's played offense. He's played defense. And has been in on a lot of plays tonight. Down to 535 uh, in this game. And, of course, and you're wondering why that clock's moving so fast. You do get a running clock. Mm -hmm. uh, if you uh, are 30 points ahead, no matter when it is in the ball game, the, the clock will just continually run. Uh, I know that, that was set up because of some folks. Some they, they used to the second Coast. half, right? Yeah. yeah. And uh, here comes Stoner. Boy, another nice run. I mean, the, this Kent Ridge team, team is something down. about television. When television's around, Kent Ridge seems to play a lot better. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why that is. When a game's televised, they, they, something happens, you know. It's just they're a lot different out there on the field, but. You know, a lot of players have not yet to play in this team, and they got. You know what's neat about Kenton Ridge? They still have some people that are on the bench that they can replace fresh bodies with. Well, don't forget, you got your girlfriend watching, so you got to play good. She's <laughs> on TV. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> Listen to that. It's like nobody saw lightning in their life. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the shout you just heard there, 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 was a, there was a flash in the press box, just went nuts there. You thought they were going to cancel Christmas. I thought somebody was out doing fireworks there for a second. <laughs> oh, they're going to call. No, they're not. No, they're gonna they're gonna four minutes down and, and yeah, they're gonna let it rip here. They can't stop this. He's gonna keep I, the football. I, I hope I didn't speak too soon. <laughs> All right, Ben Logan is getting set up, and guess who's guess who's going back to uh, receive? Well, this, this is a uh, Drew Miller. If he puts his hand up, uh, and is he gonna let it go? No, get away from it, Drew. Give a good game oh, so he far. Had, he had second thoughts. <laughs> he did. Drew was thinking, folks. He yeah. said, I, I'm going to take this. No, don't wreck a great game. And uh, next week, we are going to be at uh, Northwestern High School and uh, the Shawnee Braves. That's a good good ball game. Good uh, for the uh, well, CBC. Robbie Glass, you know, yes. at, at oh quarterback. And uh, yeah. just, you know, he, was, uh, he won state for the second time, two out of three times in the high jump. He came in runner-up in the, uh, I think it was the 400. So uh, he can move. Uh, I got to see him play in scrimmage earlier in the year. He's he's the real deal. Cheerleaders again there for Kenton Ridge. And uh, one of, well, those, we were, one of we those cheerleaders in the back in the back row is a terrific swimmer. And, uh, you know, will be going to state probably this year. Really? So that's. Is that me? <laughs> no, not as, a, not as a swimmer, Lee. <laughs> And they're going to time out for Ben Logan. That is one of the clock stop. Uh, 323 remaining here in this uh, football game. And uh, it has been all. Oh. Who are you waving at? They were just talking about the, the girls we were talking about. Here. Now, the cheerleader is going to jump up in the back row. I'll tell you about uh, the one that was a swimmer. Macy Wills was the one that threw for us. She came. It would have been a little bit higher. She would have had 500 bucks. Oh, that Carson's me. sister uh, was a cheerleader for Ohio State University. This scares me when they do yeah, this. I know. Flips. Yep. Oh, don't. Okay, good. But there's a, there's a lot of guys walking around going, you know, we had ourselves a good ball game. Yeah, the Drew Miller is uh, yeah. he's saying I've, we've and done Dibert something was here. there, yeah. Boy, there's a ton of new bodies in there, um, and we're down. We're down right here to three minutes, guys. Eighteen coming across there yeah, is going to be G- Gavin uh, Higgins. He's a 150 pounder. And let's see who's in there at uh, quarterback. That being uh, Brady. Brady King is in there at uh, at quarterback. Uh, Brady King. Uh, he he played at uh, at uh, the middle school uh, for uh, Coach Parsons, and uh, he did a good job there. And his brother played here, and his brother. Not playing, but attends uh, Ohio State University, or did. And, uh, the Ohio State University. Yeah, and University. Brady, Brady's going to probably uh, get these reins here some days. A nice handoff, oh, outside nice run. Handoff. Nice cut, too. Real nice cut yeah. back by Gavin again, Gavin Higgins. Gavin Higgins. He gets it down to the 30, Gary, and that's going to be about five yards short, four yards short of the uh, of the first down. Clock rolls, 224 remaining in this ball game, and it's been all, you can see on the screen, Kenton Rich, 48-6. to six. Yeah, number 12 is Brady King out there on your screen. He's the quarterback replacing Lehman, and he is a freshman. You don't see that too often from Coach Morata. He doesn't like to play freshman. He says you're playing against grown men. So, well, But you, <laughs> need, to get, you, you need to get the if, practice. If, the, if you can play, you should be playing. Yep, yep, I agree totally. King looking out in the flat, got his nice receiver. Pass. Yeah, very nice pass. Nice completion, and wide open on that with the good hands is Justin Pitt. Justin Pitt. So Justin Pitt gets his name in the records book. He's caught that ball. Crest across the 25 to the 24-yard line. Watch the replay line. now. This is perfect. Nice pass. Well, look at good this. zip on it, and it goes right to Pitt to the sophomore, freshman to the sophomore. And we're down to 130 left to go in this ball game. And Kenton Ridge uh, with the football inside the 25-yard line. And heading upfield with the football. Oh, nice cut. Heading outside. Got about the 10-yard line. Got down in the area of Gavin the 10-yard Higgins, line. Gavin Higgins, boy. Gavin Higgins having a great last couple of minutes. 
Now watch him worm his way through here on this replay. He cuts back left. He goes, I got a blocker on my right. Now watch so this to go back. He got a good block. Missed tackle there. Big guy coming out after him. He cuts back left, and the big guy finally chases him down. And the big guy we're talking about is uh, that Gabe Hemmelgram. Uh, the 14-yard uh, line is where the football's at. Hand it off again. Up the middle he goes, picking up positive yardage again. I'd like to see him uh, score just for his uh, – you know, his effort, man, he's doing a good job. We're down to 40 seconds remaining in this uh, football and game. And still rolling here. Probably one more play here with the play clock, and that'll be it for this game. And you're probably looking at the final score uh, that we have right now, so it's not going to change a whole lot. Maybe, but they're down well, around the 11-yard yeah. yeah. line. And who knows, Brady King could just uh, pump a pass there to uh, the wide receiver going at the top of your screen there, and that's uh, Kobe Rogan. And he is in the backfield by himself, so that could very well happen. Looking up at the clock, down 10 seconds, takes a knee, and that is going to do it. Our final score, 48-6 to six on senior night for Kenton Ridge, winning the ball game. Our postgame report is going to be coming up along with the Player of the Game Award. After this, on the local TV for me, Sports Network. You're watching the Hometown High School Football Game of the Week on WRCX Television. Brought to you by our local All-State agent, Jim Twiggs. Tonight's game is also being brought to you by the IH Credit Union, Los Mariachis Mexican Restaurant, and Springfield Park CTC. I'm Nick Jacobson, and I'm a senior in the Electrical Trades Program at the Springfield Clark CTC. Currently in my class, we are being taught motor controls and three-phase commercial power. My goal is to further my education through an apprenticeship and become a power distribution lineman, and all I had to do was commit. Career opportunities making meaningful impact today. For more information, visit www.sectc.org. I may be an orthodontist, but I know a thing or two about... Perfect. Mayhem is everywhere. So get an Allstate agent. Are you in good hands? And welcome back. The uh, post-game report with uh, Gary Lidzell. And uh, Gary, let's see how we got to that final score of 48-6. to six. Well, I'll tell you, this game has been nothing but uh, Kenton Ridge Cougars playing running, passing, oh, yeah. and really splitting it up, doing just a great job to the – to the Raiders had some trouble. Now here's a play that you're going to see the quarterback Lehman. Look at the time he has from his line. Nice block by Weichel. The pass is over the middle. No, it goes to the outside to Drew Miller. That had me fooled because I was following Hill on the other side, and that was a touchdown pass so for Drew ben Miller. Logan, yeah. And here comes a, a wide, deep open uh, Dibert. Watch him go up there, snag that ball out of the air, and just walks into the end zone. And who's down there to greet him? Drew Miller and Hill. Once again, the pass play off to the right side and over the top in good hands, looking back, saying no one's there. Diver goes across, and the two seniors in the end zone together, perhaps the last time they'll play Ben Logan, and that's real good sportsmanship by those two great players for Kent Ridge Cougars, and there's your score, 48-6. to six. And time right now for the All-State Player of the Game Award, brought to you by Jim Twiggs. And this week, Gary, our Player of the Game Award winner goes to who? Well, this is going to go to what you just saw right there, yeah. senior number nine, Drew Miller. And he's a six foot, 160 pounder. And uh, we had uh, Dibert won the Student Athlete of the Award. And how appropriate is it for Drew Miller to win the All State Good Hands Player of the Game? And uh, join us again next Friday night. And we'll be at Northwestern High School as the Warriors will be hosting the Shawnee Brave. Should be a dandy out of the CBC. Till next week, we wish everyone a very pleasant and safe good evening. <laughs>